This is the th third battle of the uh, Angolan Civil War and uh, late 1980s, and this is turn 16 or 6 of 15. And here we go. As you can see, we've got several uh, battles uh, that are in the running here. So we're going to take this one next. Um, Wow, we've got a whole bunch of battles. Two, three, four. We have a couple of different enemy forces coming into the play here. Uh, looks like we have a group from the Northwest Central coming into our line. Looks like they're trying to cut us off. And then we have a smaller, well, who knows if they're smaller, uh, group coming in from the Northeast and East um, up to... Uh, let's see, Quanto 4. Uh, it looks like we have infantry, and that's pretty much it there. Trumpo Tri, looks like infantry again. And uh, the group down here does have uh, weapons. Let's see, uh, 76.2s. Uh, it looks like it only has two of them. Um... Trying to figure out how I'm going to set this up. Okay, what we're going to do is we set up a... We pulled our forces back from Quanto 4 because I'm going to be attacked from two sides there. And I just think that's kind of a lost cause. Uh, better to consolidate our forces and to uh, get them so they're mutually supporting each other rather than have them come at me from potentially at least three sides and even maybe more. So, uh, we've given up this area here in anticipation of consolidating our forces to provide a better defensive line. I have uh, three anti-tank uh, positions here. They're in this line here. There's one here and there's two here. They have a strong, uh, I have a couple of APC squads over here with some infantry and a command squad. Um, I don't expect a lot from these guys. Um, now, I've tried to place our forces in places where there is a little bit of cover. Um, the um, bushes and trees and things like this um, is to give them a little bit of cover. Um, let's see, for instance, this unit here. He doesn't have a great deal of firing ability here, but it's intentional because I want to be able to use uh, these forces for ambush. And so that means I need to be able to get them to be close. I'm not really sure what the little red squares are here. The red squares within the bigger squares. Let's see what this guy is. He's kind of in a foresty area, sort of, maybe. Basically, this squad is to blunt the enemy coming in at us. Here's our other... artillery piece. It's got good fire in some blazes. Not terribly great though. I think I may push him back over here. Let's see what that does. Doesn't look like he's got a terribly good field of fire here. Let's see if I can put him here. Let's see what that does for us. I don't know. I'm not loving this. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. This area is relatively open, so I'm going to use this as a kill zone. Um, I put my anti-tank weapons all in a line here with heavy uh, squad uh, backup protection. A thinner line to the left, since I expect the main attack to come from here. Um, I've put my armored cars as reserves in the back here. Uh, 
I don't want, I kind of want them as sort of a secondary because I know the South African infantry has superior uh, uh, suppression fire that they can bring to bear on us. So I really am concerned about having some kind of backup here uh, that uh, I could negate that with or at least uh, equalize it. So I think this is the best way to do it. These three guns are not quite in a, uh, a trap that I would prefer. Uh, but again, this area is so open and my flank here is open. I've got uh, two infantry squads, or three actually, plus an uh, armored vehicle uh, APC over here to sort of provide some kind of protection on this front. Uh, this side I've got a more lengthy uh, exposure but they're dug in and I'm not expecting much of an attack in this direction. Um, we'll see. Okay, so here we go. We're deployed and game starts at 737 minutes, seven hour, 700 hours and 37 minutes. These guys are dug in. So, now remember the enemy is supposedly going for Quando 4. So, we're not going to see, well, the first thing we should see is the, uh, that victory point being taken. Uh, let's see. I think I've got to take this force over here. And see if we can take Alo 3. At least that will give us some uh, warning if they happen to come through that location. Well, you can see they've got a relatively good uh, viewpoint. Pretty unobstructive line of sight here. You can see I have staggered trenching. Tank. Okay, so that's a little bit west of... Uh, what I was hoping to see. There's two tanks in that area, so this could go badly for us. Pulling these forces back. Vehicles abandoned, oh. All right. So we have enemy infantry over here on our right. Ah, oh, this is not an armored car, it's a truck. Probably should have checked that first. Oh, well, we're taking them on the flank, so that's good. Why this has got mm mm mm. They got three, five tanks. And those tanks are going right for Tumpo Try. There's no way I could even move these troops out of here now. Boy, look at the massive infantry that's moving in. They're starting to fan out in a line. This one's going to be a wedge right through the middle of this guy. No, it's not going to go well. Alright. <laughs> uh. Well, at least we've got, in this area, on our right flank, uh, they don't have the armor. I'm going to try to ambush them. I don't think that's going to help me a lot here, not with the number of armored vehicles they have, but we can only do what we can. At least in this location, we, we've got built-in positions or dug-in positions and they have to cross open ground so give us a bit of an advantage Did 
their armored vehicles tend to or seem to be moving east. These are my ambushed vehicles, or I was trying to ambush here. The ambush is working. taking out their armored vehicles or their armored APCs. Ambush. You know, we're taking it hard here. Got a lot of forces coming through here. They're still they're pushing forward closer here. Not looking good. Looks like my gun's totally knocked out. I'd like to say that I think they're holding their own over here, but I'm not sure they are. guys are gone too. Well, uh, we're gonna not take it well here. Looks like we're being overrun here. We got three men left. They're throwing them, blowing them out with grenades. Wow. A draw. Well, <laughs> okay. 
uh, territory before battle, 15. Territory after battle, 0. Uh, my casualty, 74. The enemy had 40. Uh, with, let's see, 41 killed on our side, 12 on theirs. Okay, lost. Okay, we lost one gun. Uh, three damaged. Okay, abandoned one, one. Um, we got a score time, we got a score of 10 or 9. <laughs> they had a score of 75. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much for uh, joining that particular battle. I'm surprised it's a draw. Uh, they clearly had the drop on us on that one. Um, I could have positioned my forces better, I suppose, if I could have anticipated better where they were coming from, but that's the way it goes. You gotta, at some point, you gotta draw the line in the sand and, you know, decide what you're gonna do. But uh, certainly, uh, uh, it was an interesting battle. Um, we only had 11% of our forces left, and they had 70 percent, 76% of theirs. But that was possibly because they had the uh, the tank force, and uh, so in that sense, it's understandable. Uh, thank you very much for uh, joining me on this particular operation. Uh, if you enjoyed this battle, please like and or subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the battlefield.